We made it to Christmas and it's a date episode. I'm not sure if Ichika realizes that it's a date, but hey, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna spend some time, and is some special magic gonna happen? A Christmas miracle, perhaps. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> She's using the fucking praying mantis cat still. What is her profile picture? Some kind of cat monster thing. I'm not sure. She really loves that praying mantis cat, man. <laughs> Look at the drip, bro. <laughs> oh, damn! She dressed up so nice that you got this motherfucker with just the edgiest fucking emo kid, dude. <laughs> she just looks so elegant. <laughs> this motherfucker, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Uh huh. <laughs> of course she recognizes, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a lady. Just fucking slams down the fucking hash browns and puts the lipsticks on immediately. Frame perfect recovery. Yeah. It's never about the manga. We're going on a date. Yeah, I might get lost. You want to hold hands? Holding hands, I think, is a pretty reasonable thing. Like, I'm not expecting a kiss. I'm not expecting some kind of confession. Listen, like, holding hands in public on, like, a date? I think that's pretty decent progress. Will we get that, though? I'm not sure. No holding hands, I see. She knows. She knows. It's intentional. She picked Christmas Eve to go spend time with you because it's symbolic. It means that maybe you're a fucking couple. But you just don't get it. You're the one that doesn't get it. Yeah. That's a lot of manga. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love the overlay of the couple holding their hand right behind us. Like, we're kind of there, right? We're indirect, we're indirect hand holding right now. Sharing through a fucking bag. The last time I saw indirect hand holding was Kubo, right? I, I think one of the picnic episodes, right? The little brother was in the middle between, you know, Shiraishi and Kubo or some shit, and they're all indirectly holding hands there too. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Milk Boy Cafe. You paying? Mm. He's gonna be in denial the entire time, though. There's all there, just couples, bro. True. The, dude, the lines are a killer. Yeah, theme park as a date is probably a bad idea. Honestly, what's a good first date? I think that if you have to spend a lot of money on your first date, you're already approaching it wrong. Something as chill as just like, just like a coffee date. Something is chill and casual, I think it's perfectly fine. You don't have to fucking plan out an extreme extravagant fucking dinner at a restaurant, movie night and stuff. I don't know about McDonald's. <laughs> it depends. If you have like a gremlin girlfriend, right? If, if, if a girl matches your gremlin energy and is down for fucking chicken McNuggies, like, yeah, maybe. But like, I uh, probably shouldn't do McDonald's in the first day. Movie date's fine. I don't know. Uh... If you really want to, I, I, I think one of the best things to do, because like, what is a date? Date is basically you spending time with someone else, right? And I think activities that involve some sort of teamwork, that's like a good thing to figure out if you can be compatible or not. Truly. Some sort of activity. Like I, I like ice skating because so I, 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 I'm good at ice skating. So I just kind of flex sometimes. It's like, yeah, I skate. I just play fucking hockey. It's like, let's fucking do this shit by bowling. Yeah, maybe. Cooking, I think, right? 
cooking for someone is really intimate, but some kind of activity where you can like collaborate and have something else to talk about. Like, like, like doing some activity, like playing a, some kind of sports or some kind of game together kind of avoids, like, you don't want to be in a situation where you're talking about some awkward shit. It's like, oh, so, uh, you know, what kind of guys you like? Oh, yeah? You come here off the... Those are awkward talks. But, like, if you can distract yourself and do some sort of activity together and you can talk about that specific activity and collaborate, suddenly the pressure is off and now you can kind of know each other. Boxing? <laughs> guys, guys, you need to pick some better fucking activities. え、ばかいだんやエスカレーターでは男が下になると素敵らしいと聞いたことがだってだってだってだって何だよなんだよ。cuz it would be awkward as fuck. Cause like, she's already tall. And then if you put him below, then she could be like, just talking down like that the entire time. Man, you know what would be really cool? Growth spurt. Can a growth spurt happen for Ichika? Am I like delusional for like hoping that it happens? And then they could get to kind of even height or some shit. Then he could be kind of on her level. You know what I mean? Cause like, the size difference right now is kind of a thing. The size difference for sure between them, the height difference. It's kind of cute, whatever. But like, I don't know. You want to be a baby the entire time? Eh, what if a growth sport happens between season one and season two? Yeah, I don't know. She did. She was even correcting our mom. Can we come over and meet the mom? How about you call me Kyo and I call you Anachan? Deal? Anachan? Kyo? Kyo? Anna? Now we can have an excuse to kind of switch over to first name basis, but who knows when that'll happen? Trendy-ass-cafe. That cute is still on our minds. Never mind. No, 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 it was on her mind. It was? I don't know. I thought maybe she was focusing on the fucking different menus. Fifteen hundred yen. Ten fifty yen. I hope Yamada's fucking paying, bro. <laughs> she, she a big girl model, man. Each kind of broke. Can't afford it. Oof. おのカフェにすればよかったね。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット。ホット
What is mansplaining? Mansplaining is the act where a man will go on to explain, you know, mansplaining, man is explaining topics that they're not very well versed in to a person who might be a professional in that field. For example, in this instance, Ichikawa, who is not uh, a pro, he's an amateur at fashion, just gave a judgment about Yamada based on that. Therefore, mansplaining. But that term is a, it's a dog whistle. A dog whistle means you hear a term and it's like, oh, it's like a trigger for something. You ever go on TikTok? You ever see some videos where some shitty thing's happening, someone's getting robbed, some kind of crime, and then the comment section will say, well, well, well. That is another example of another dog whistle where they don't explicitly say it, but by saying a different phrase, it acts as a proxy and then links back to what they were meaning to say. Right? Dog whistle. This is what this is. <laughs> Minus 9,000 aura. Sugar? Oh. <laughs> Gotta drink that shit straight black. I love drinking black coffee. It became like... I used to put a lot of sweeteners in back in high school because, you know, my parents used it. So it was free for me, but when I got in college... I had no money, so I just drank that shit straight black. And, a par and I'm not sure if it's Stockholm Syndrome. I genuinely enjoy the bitter taste of black coffee. So cool and manly. It's an acquired taste for sure. They're very different. With milk tea. Damn! That's right, for the gram, baby. I feel like it should be vertical here instead of horizontal, but whatever. <laughs> she just started eating. <laughs> she fucking wait for the picture pose. <laughs> Because these are special memories. And he about to get a bzz, bzz on his phone and maybe she'll send that to his phone through line. You share that memory of the special date. Mm. Now how is he gonna rationalize? How is he going to rationalize in his head to think that, nah, her doing this right now, she's just playing with me. What, are you flexing right now that you have money to buy pancake and I don't? I get it, Yamada. I'm a peasant while you climb the hierarchy of social class. I'm going to leave now. I could see this motherfucker straight up saying that shit. He just, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stop looking at the phone. <laughs> Look at my face. Yo, where's the sunlight at? The sunlight! Where? Where did it come from? Yo, this we're indoors now! We are indoors! This fucking light showed up out of nowhere! <laughs> the classic dangers of my heart sunlight whenever this shit happens. <laughs> so it seems. Carte. I nine shows up. There are ten shows up and all that bullshit. Yeah, I'm watching the real thing, all right. The dangers in my heart, man. Can you hear the heartbeats? It looks just all right. You need to compliment her better. Damn. I mean, it's just a black copy, but you know. The man is supposed to pay and make sure the girl is taken care of, but that's the traditional role. This is not a traditional relationship. She is straight up the top, okay? Yamada is the one who wears the pants. <laughs> Fucking... Somehow Ichika has become the sugar baby. Somehow he snuck in using his cute riz. Cute fucking emo riz, I don't know. <laughs> Are they? Okay.
Right is more sexy. Left is probably cuter. Which one you pick? Red? You better pick red. The red one? Which one? Was it pink or red? It is a rom-com, bro! Oh, she getting dressed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it was the pink one. <laughs> Just leaves her abandoned here. <laughs> what the sound of her changing clothes is too loot for you, bro? <laughs> get a boner, get a boner, get a boner. <gasps> Sister! Yo! I told you this one was better. Well, the other one was more cute. This one's more sexy. But hey, if the sister sees her little bro here on a date with the Yamada? Parappa indeed. Hide with Yamada in the changing room because a sister. Hey, dumbass, put your fucking hood on and face the wall. It's really that easy. Oh, here we go! Together in a tight space. Carte incoming. The heartbeat sounds playing again. It's stuck. Step, bro. Can you get it? <laughs> the implications one could go with this, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> because, like, it's so easy to guess the other thing, you know? <laughs> All right, it's a promise. Different time. <laughs> See? The red one was the better one, I told you. And if his opinion is what matters for the clothing that she wanted, she gonna get that. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit, oh shit, what's going on? Well then, that got heated. It was fun. She was worried about you, bro, and whether or not he had fun. Oh, oh, oh. The head. Yeah, I can tell. Today was a good day, because I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this shit, bro. I guess this is the shy boy is, but like, this dude can't even fucking make eye contact. He's fucking stuttering. Today was fun, probably. You wanna, you wanna go again? Like, this shit never fucking works in real life, dude. But it works for him right now. Oh, the scarf? Oh. Scarf exchanged! Oh, wrap me up. Wait, she becomes a power player. You gonna be fucking sniffing this shit the entire time. <laughs> Wait, it was too fucking prevent her from looking down? This time it's not sunlight. Sunlight Kun is not showing up, but it's a Christmas tree. Okay. Hmm. He ain't thinking about the fucking the light right now is her. She is the sun. Oh, thank goodness. They survived the Shibuya incident, but then again, that should happen in Halloween. <laughs> Sweaty hand. Sweaty hand, Riz. 
持ち手すごいしっとりしてるんだけどあ手汗がねチーズズパクツあっ、ノーデゲンセパレーテッドおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおどうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どうしよう。ああ、どう They're still holding hands! Oh my god, they're doing it! Alright! Today's episode delivered on what I wanted. Like, my expectations weren't too high. I didn't think it was a kiss gonna happen or a confession, but at least holding hands or something, right? We got holding hands, and we got the scarf, and. the video of the pancakes. And the promise. And a promise. A promise that they could do it. A different time. Do what? I'll let you know. Everything is very dreamy right now. Almost like it's a fucking a literal dream. Carte 10. We. Oui? Oh, they're intensely walking slow. The family with the little fucking kid walk faster. Why? Because the slower you go, the longer this moment's gonna last. Yukuri. Yukuri. Just fucking walk the other direction. <laughs> Just go back to Shibuya then. Very slowly. That's a good thing, though. The end of a date. You're supposed to drop the girl off. And there may be an opportunity for a kiss. But I don't think this is the moment. Are we just gonna go away just awkwardly? How is this date gonna conclude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Yeah, don't say Happy New Year's now. We're gonna see each other later. Bye. Okay. <laughs> she should have ran into the pole here. That would have been a classic if she just fucking bonked into the pole. Close one, man. Alright, she's gone. We got the manga, we got the scarf, we got our- OH WAIT! <laughs> she was fucking cringe as fuck. That's just Santa. That's just Santa impression. Who am I gonna be here? Oh, the sunlight! Yamada Santa. Your feelings, it's very close. Like, she might know I like her. I think that, like. Yeah, honestly, I don't think she completely knows just yet, right? Because, like, there's been moments, but, like, she's working so hard to try to get him to cough up any sort of hint, but he has been. Aside from the accidental risk, he has been really holding it to himself, so, like. He needs to make a move. He needs to make some definitive move. Post credit scene. Yeah. Oh, it's our alter ego. The cooler. The cooler each color, dude. It's me. I'm you, but better. <laughs> I'm, you. I'm you! And you're me, imaginary kid. Actually, alter ego! Oh. 
I'm thinking. <laughs> Come on, dude. Getting my feelings across? Oh, yeah. That too. Not now. You do have a chance. More than a chance. It's, a, it's not a chance. It's a 100% guarantee. This shit, straight up a domain expansion. Nobody's dodging it. Straight up. Instant fucking hit. But have you seen her be touchy with any other guy? Just her friends. But what about an actual guy? <laughs> so come on. <laughs> this piece of shit was like, oh, what do you think? What do you think? You idealized me? You got any fucking tips? Peek? Yeah, now you're cooked. <laughs> Oh. Muscles. <laughs> Workout time? Those are the... How many push-ups was that? Dude, these are like one-eighth push-ups. His elbows aren't even fucking... What the fuck is this? These are negative push-ups. Did you read it? <laughs> oh! It's a cute ass picture of him in a Christmas outfit eating fucking chicken and cake. Good. Is that it? <laughs> Why the fuck is imaginary Kyotaro fucking in the bed right now consoling it? What the fuck? Yo, if Yamada saw these two in bed together, she'd get jealous because of the pose that he's making right now. There, there. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> what? What's happening at the end there? <laughs> what the best there? Kyotaro, man. Hey, that is the Christmas date episode. And my goodness. My goodness. That was a great episode, man. There was a great episode. And, and as usual, you know, fucking the date starts off with... The edgy kid showing up in the stalker fucking outfit, Loki creeping out Yamada, but hey, it got better. We did even indirect hand holding. She liked looking up to, you know, and this looking up scene, right? I don't know if we're gonna hit a growth spurt in time to. Like, honestly, I kind of do enjoy the Amazonas giant girl and small boyfriend dynamic. Like, if he grew too tall for her, then. It would be more like a traditional relationship, but this show has been predicated on Yamada just being big and just kind of, I don't know, teasing and kind of toying around. Ichikawa, I guess, and Ichikawa's a small little cute kid, but if a growth spurt actually does happen because, you know, they are in middle school, that would be pretty hype. I just thought about that because of the height difference thing here that they were talking about. Pancake stuff, bro. She just... She paid for everything. She ordered food for him. It's like the fucking shy girlfriend that can't say anything. This is the boyfriend has to do everything. It's just so fucking funny. There's some major setup here. It's, it's like, what do you want to do right now? No, not now. When then? It's like, uh oh, what's that all about? The scarf moment was great. The light moment was great. The hand holding, the ho 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 Christmas verse. This episode, just a solid date episode overall. Didn't give us everything I needed, I wanted, but I never expected a kiss to happen. It would be too rushed. I don't want a confession to happen to either. I don't want that shit to be rushed. The pacing right now is perfect. It's a true middle school, just relationship that I can envision if I was in the grade eight, us both being awkward and kind of weird and shy, but trying to figure out our feelings and like, eventually it's gonna get there, man. Eventually it's gonna fucking get there. Yeah, I know it's the introduction to the sister, but like, it's... It made it sound like they were talking about something else entirely different. But that's pretty much it. We have... How many episodes left? We got two episodes left. 11 and 12 to wrap up. Maybe it's gonna be like the New Year's thing. And then we go into season two. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.